to spark up a bowl and tuck yourselves in. Once upon a time is about to begin. Tonight we're going to tell you a story and like we do all the fucking time. You listen to us. Uh, the story tonight is called God's Food by the Brothers Grimm, published in 1819. God. What is God? Well, God eats food. And this story is about God's food. And it goes like this. I don't know. <laughs> Once upon a dime, uh, we're looking at two sisters. One's what? poor and one's rich. <laughs> The rich one is probably prettier, uh, and she has no kids, and and she has a husband, and the poor one doesn't have a husband. She's widowed, and she has five kids. Five. That's way too many. That's way too many kids. (laughs) Especially if you're poor. Stop having kids. Close your legs for a second. Well, she's poor. She can't afford birth control. (laughs) Well, and it was it was a husband that she had that had died. So maybe he died after the the fifth kid was born. And that's why she's poor because yeah. he died. Yep, and he was no life there. insurance back then. Yeah, I mean that's this was true. this was eighteen nineteen or earlier. Um, so I don't know what life was like yeah. back then. <laughs> These two sisters, they were polar <laughs> opposites, I would say. Uh, Rebecca, the rich bitch, she's all dolled up. She's got a nice house. Brenda, the broke bitch, <laughs> was living in, in like a, a little hut next door, yeah. be, I guess behind the house or something. Yeah, probably behind the house. And and she goes over, she has no money, and she goes over to Rebecca's house. Uh, Rebecca opens the door, and Brenda is begging her, like, can you give me some bread? I'm really hungry. I just want a mouthful. She's like, you got a lot of money. I don't have anything. Give me some bread. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's her sister. It's her <laughs> fucking sister. She's like, all right, Brenda, chill. All right, you're not starving. No. And anyway, I don't have any bread bread in the house, so go fuck away. And you're starting to smell up my front porch, and I don't like it. You yeah. need to go take a bath. She's like, I don't have any running water. She's like, <laughs> there's a fucking stream over there. There's a it's, a, it's an irrigation ditch. <laughs> That's fucking water, isn't it? <laughs> She sends her off and like she's a bitch. And then Henry comes home. First he's thing he does, hungry. he's hungry. He goes and gets himself some of that bread that they had. Yeah. What a fucking cunt! She did not give her sister any fucking bread. <laughs> yeah. Five kids. Oh my god. She what just asked that? for a bite. She didn't fucking ask. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem. She should have asked. She was fucking rude. They didn't have manners back in eighteen hundred. <laughs> anyway, she, bitch didn't ask right. She doesn't get any bread. Henry comes home, cuts himself slices his bread, right? Some red stuff oozed out and looked uh, like blood. <laughs> yeah, technically, how'd they know it was blood? <laughs> it was actually tomato juice. Oh. And then Rebecca is like, Oh my God, my sister asked for bread and I told her we didn't have any because she did not ask. She demanded it. And they didn't have bread because it wasn't it bread. It was f- bloody bread. <laughs> it's like, well, I get, I'm i glad I didn't give her any of this bread. She would have gotten sick. Oh, is that the... Maybe. I thought she was just like, blood, that's a bad sign. Hey, I was a bitch five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't... That's the thing telling me I shouldn't be a bitch. No, it's a curse and they know it. Yeah, so Henry's like, oh, shit. I'm going to go fucking help her. Because Boy, I smack Rebecca. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> She's your sister. <laughs> she didn't ask. <laughs> she just demanded it. And anyway, it's all bloody. So he goes out behind the house back to her hut. <laughs> and she's in this room with her two, with two of her youngest kids yeah. in her arms. And she's kneeled on the floor and she's praying. And just in front of her, three the other three kids are lying on the floor dead yeah and he's like wait no i have bread you can you can eat i have food for you and she's like nope god already satisfied the hunger of three of us after she said that it wasn't a a second later that the the two kids in her arms took their last breath and her heart broke and she died as well so all of that family is dead that's the end of the story, guys. Thanks for listening to that. The end.